All right, so this is just the beginning little entryway from the parking lot over here. There are a ton of trails that run back through. It looks like there's an old cemetery back here somewhere from the looks of the signs. And we are doing the Hickory Trail? Uh, I think it's the Hickory, no, it's the Finger Rock oh. Trail, I think is what we're doing. Okay, so we're a mile ahead to get to the trail. So you have all kinds of trails up through here. And it says distances are one way, just so you know. But on all trails, it says the one we're going on is 3.9 mile loop. They don't always tell the truth. I'm just saying. But just in case, I brought the world's smallest bananas if we get lost. <laughs> all right. You go test the bridge and make sure it's not going to collapse on me. Okay. Oh, I like those little things. Look at this one, right? Little grippies. Sandy bottom. Huh. That is a very sandy bottom creek. All right, let's get our hike on. Have I told you how happy I am about the sunshine? Oh, sunshine feels so good. And it's what, 44 degrees? Oh, we didn't set our hike on our watch. They're like little tiny bananas. I did get them at Aldi, but still. We got our first sign coming up here. Let's see if we're lost already. We are exactly 0 0.01 miles into the hike, and I don't think we're lost yet, so. Okay, Hickory Trail, but that's not our trail. I don't think so. But I'm gonna log on to All Trails, the downloaded version of this map, and we should not get lost. So we'll see how it goes. So before we get too far into this trail, let's talk about these Le Sportiva hiking boots that we both have. We have used the crap out of these things. Yeah. These are the most comfortable shoes I've ever owned. Waterproof, super warm, insulated. They're even nice in the summertime, put on a pair of wool socks. They are so cushy. We always say we're walking on clouds when we wear these shoes. Yeah, so. They're amazing. And they're not cheap, but you know, good shoes make a big difference on a long hike. Right. And they're just high enough too that they're up on your ankles and keep your ankles from getting twisted and stuff. Yep. And grippy in the mud. All right, let's move. You know what we did leave in the truck? What? The binoculars. No, no. Oh. Yay, I, the best. I got it all. I just saw a bird. That's why I thought about it. Mm -hmm. Shelly Kay and I were just talking about how nice it is to finally get back out and not be stuck at the house this early in the year. Because it, it was a cold winter, but it was a short winter. Our cold snap was really only like a week or so. If he's not jinxing us. If I'm not jinxing us. Because it could still snow in April. So we usually have a trip in February somewhere warm for our anniversary. And that's like our getaway from the cold weather for, you know, a few days. But we haven't even gone on that trip yet. And we're out hiking already. And it's 44 degrees. It's nice out. Well, the hiking part's not unusual because we hike in the winter. True. The camping part. I think we got out in February last year. It was late oh. February, though. Maybe in the driveway. I don't remember. <laughs> Does driveway camping count? Yeah. Leave that in your comments down below. I say if you're in your camper, it counts. I don't care where it is. Even if you're doing your warm-up trip in your driveway to, to make sure you don't have water leaks and everything's working and you've got all your stuff. Yeah, we track... Well, he does. He tracks how many days we camp, and he tracks how many days are boondocking, how many days are... We're mooch docking, and how many days we are at just a regular campground with hookups. So I have a total at the end of the year, but I'd like to know how many days we spend at each kind of campground. But we were talking about getting out, you know, enjoying the sunshine, and it just makes me feel all warm and fuzzy inside because we've had this plan of full-time RV living for 
a few years now for when we retire. And it just keeps getting closer and closer. And then every year, like the first good trip of the year that we're out, it really makes me excited about, you know, that coming up quickly. And, you know, just being away from all the hustle and bustle of work life. And Shelly K made a great point to not to forget to live in the right now, not just dream for the future. And she's absolutely right. You have to remember to enjoy where you are right now. Enjoy the time that you have right now with the people that you have right now and uh, plan for the future, but enjoy today. So what do you think of the hike so far, Shelly Kay? It's been good. It hasn't been too difficult. I like that we were along the lake for a while and now we've turned back into the woods. The only thing that concerns me is I haven't seen any markers and with our history of getting lost, I don't like that, uh, you know, we don't see any of the blazes on the trees. Which means we're not lost. Because there hasn't been any turns off of the trail yet. Yeah, we know of. Yeah, we know of. But, you know, we get to talking and who knows. Right, that does happen. Okay, so I don't know what's happening, but we already had to take a little detour. So I'm really hoping that we are not getting lost. He, he didn't know I was filming, so. Look. But. It says that we're right on the little green path. So we just have to figure out how to stay on that green path. Okay, what? well, what's weird is there was no sign of us turning. And does that look like a trail? It's, that's not even a trail. Okay, I have bananas though. So what you doing? We're not really on the trail anymore. We are on the trail. And this is supposed to be moderate. So, do, do I go over? Or do I army crawl under? I say under. Oh, I just dropped my sunglasses. Dang it. Am I gonna hit my back? Probably. Look at that. Great, clear it. Okay. Grandma power. Oh, you're so funny. Okay, so I'm pretty sure that this is where we're supposed to be. All trail says this is where we're supposed to be. There's a little bit of a path right there. I'm gonna say this is us. Come on, dear. Let's go this way. If it's really it or not? It's not a trail. We're in the middle of the woods. We're not on a trail. <laughs> oh, no. oh my God. <laughs> See, look at that trail. Definitely on the trail. All right, guys, Shelly has something to say to you all. I see this yellow rope. I think that means there might be a trail right there, or they're saying don't fall off the cliff. Oh, but why would you be back here to fall off the cliff if this wasn't the right trail? It used to be a trail. I don't think it's a trail. It's not marked. It is marked. Look, look at this, guys. Rope to stay away from the cliffside. All the way up through there, there's a rope to keep you on the trail. How about one more? There I go again. That's a big one. What was that you were saying? It's the top of the world. But... <laughs> What's your heart rate? 
Yeah, it's not even reading. Literally, it's blacked out. I'm at 98. How much? 345 feet elevation. Oh, I'm like, your heart rate is not 345. Yeah, see? Blacked out. Oh my. All right, so we're two miles in. And we get our first trail marker. Looky there, trail marker number two. What a pretty day. Out in the woods with my pretty lady. So we're like two and three quarter miles in and we finally come to a sign. By the way, we figured out we're going the wrong direction on a one-way trail. That's beside the point. So Finger Rock Trail, this is the one we're supposed to be on. So hopefully we don't get ran over by a bicycle. And there's blue trail markers on the trees. So we made it to what they call Finger Rock. So we hiked for what three almost three and a half miles to get to finger rock right yeah. so finger rock is right there that's it <laughs> it's a bit anticlimactic from a distance but i guess you can sorry for the jiggles you can walk out onto it but maybe I mean once you get out here it's not even like it's a real point to walk out onto and it be well, weird I mean, it is a giant rock yeah it's uh it's a finger oh. I just can't go all the way back I'm sorry I gotta get this on the video <laughs> oh. <laughs> you got this all right, all right, I'm good. come on you got this I'm getting up, but I'm not climbing down that rock. <laughs> Show them what you want me to do. Just come down here with me. I'm it's not. not that bad. I'm not going that way. I'm going <laughs> where the trail is. I love you. <laughs> so Shelly Kay is going to take the trail because she doesn't like my approach. How's the trail over there, dear? Good work. Now you have to come down. I'm going down this way. All right. Stay tuned, y'all. All right, so we're almost finished with this thing. Shelly K says, if you have a fear of heights, you don't know if you want to do this trail or not, it is along an edge of a cliff. It's a fairly narrow trail. Yeah, now we're at the good part. But really, if you fall, you're just gonna kind of roll down the hill. You're not gonna die. You gotta show that side. That's the scary side. You might just break something. This is not scary. So it's not bad. Oh, you're looking at yourself. I you're pointing <laughs> at that. I've... No. All right. So, we're just about finished with the trail. We're down toward the bottom now, so we'll kind of give you our synopsis of this trail. So all trails has it at 3.9 miles and moderately rated. So I would agree, Shelly K, that it should be rated moderate. It's pretty steep up yeah, and down. I, yeah, I would say, I think it says moderately challenging actually and I would agree with that because there's like a moderately easy moderately challenging and then challenging easy whatever so, gotcha yes I would lean it more towards the moderate harder part piece. of moderate yeah. and also all trails has it at 3.9 miles and we have found all trails distance is always wrong or we always get lost and end up going a longer way but or our watch is lie. Or our watch is lie, one or the other. But 
Actually, it keeps our distance on all trails as well. And we're going to be over four miles by the time we get back. And we did not leave the trail a single time. So we'll let you know exactly how long it was once we get back to the truck. All right, Shelly Kay. We made it back to where we started. I'm not back to the truck. Well, yeah. almost. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. We made it back to where we started the trail, though, where the first split was. Uh, how many miles? Um, mine is not accurate. Well, maybe. Mine is paused. I don't know why. Weird. It, I probably hit it on accident, so yeah. don't ask me. Look at well, mine, well, my watch went dead. Oh. But last time I looked at the app, it had it as 3.92. It's supposed to be 3.9, so it's probably right about four miles. But we're coming out where we should have went in. Right. I want to figure out here how it is so we came this way and we went straight correct right by over my shoulder is the way we started and we should have turned here. right but here no but there's not a sign it does not say hickory or a finger or whatever right so let's get back to the truck and uh pick up elena and go make some delicious food something with a campfire let's yes do it. let's go all right, y'all, so tonight we are making some sausage and peppers over the fire. We just put the sausages in a couple of minutes ago. They are frying up real nice. Get those bad boys cooked up. We'll take them out, add up some peppers, add some broth in there with a little garlic. It's gonna cook up real nice. So mama just brought out all the ingredients for me to finish up my sausage and peppers. We got our peppers and onions and garlic. Looks like some salt, some crushed red pepper, and I don't know what, tomato sauce, some vinegar, some chicken broth. It's gonna be delicious. I think the dogs are waiting for you to drop something. They're always waiting for me to drop something. So this is the first time we've had this little table out for like real. This mm -hmm. is pretty nice. Mm -hmm. We picked it up at the boat and RV show. Um, it was what, a hundred bucks? It I think so. It collapses down super easy. Um, it breaks into a, essentially four little pieces and packs up smaller than your camp chair does. So, uh, I don't know who makes it. Super lightweight, too. Yeah. All right, sausages are done. Golden brown. Did you tell my secret that you don't like? She did half spicy sausage and half turkey sausage. Well, the turkey sausage is also spicy. It's a little right. better for you. And then I add all the veggies, right? Well, you're supposed to, how much grease is in the bottom? You're supposed to gra drain the grease, but leave enough to cover the bottom to for the veggies. I'd say we're just about perfect. These little flexible cutting boards are the way to go. You just bend it and slide. Just that easy. And just so you know, I have a challenge for you. I need you to get the oregano off of this plate. Okay. Without getting off the salt and the red peppers. No problem. Okay, you got you this. Yep. Watch this. You hold these. Look at the skills. Skills, I tell ya. Okay, so we'll just saute that up for about 10 to 12 minutes and the dog was just licking the tongs in my hand and uh, we'll be ready for the next step. Eat your heart out, Chuck. Now we can't say we have the whole campground to ourselves anymore because uh, 
a couple of people moved into one of the camper cabins mm -hmm. down the way earlier today, but we can almost see them, but you can't hear them. And not that we don't like camping with people because we really do. We love right. camping with friends. We love meeting new people when we're out camping, but sometimes it's just nice to just get out by yourself. And enjoy the quiet. What's next? The peppers and onions are ready to go. Let me have a look at those peppers and onions. Make oh, sure it looks all the way done. Look at that. Okay. Look at that glove. That was a love gift. It was a love gift. We didn't put it on our list of love gifts, but these things are the best. Mm -hmm. Especially if you're cooking over the fire. I actually got this for you for Christmas. Yeah. Okay, so you gotta put the sausage back in. Okay, sausage in. Okay. Check. Now you need to put in that tomato sauce. Tomato sauce. Ooh, that's hot. I should have my, use the other hand. <laughs> Ball. Okay. Okay, now take that chicken broth, yep. pour it in that tomato sauce can. Just rinse it out. Yep. And then that gives me an idea of how much you got in there because we need a cup. How much is Which this? would fill that can. A cup would fill the can. Oh, it's going to be perfect. Exactly what we needed. Look at that. Yep. So okay. Hot. All right. And then you also need to get that red wine vinegar, you need an eighth of a cup. About halfway of the vinegar. Okay. Okay. Go ahead and add that salt and crushed red pepper. Done. Stir that up. All right, and now we just let it simmer, put the lid on and let it simmer for about 45 minutes. All right, what and, time is it? And it needs to be kind of on a uh, medium low heat so it can just simmer real slow. All right, pasta's cooking, garlic bread's cooking, sausage and peppers is done. A little pasta. Sausage, pepper, and onions. All right, and a piece of garlic bread. A piece of garlic bread to go with it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How is it, Michael? It's hot, but it's good. Good work. <laughs>